Mr. Valsic, thank you very Congratulations with your uh, race today. Um, we can start with the, <laughs> with the finish. You had a really hard uh, finish today and a fight again uh, with the second uh, place. But uh, Kristina, uh, when you saw uh, Teresa coming up in uh, classic style beside you, what did you think then? Normally I'm stronger in the finish, but uh, in the classic style, of course. Uh, but uh, yeah, you never know. After that uh, hard race, you never know what will happen in the last uh, 100 meters, especially that it's a little bit up and uh, it's uh, very slow in the finish line. But uh, uh, actually, I was uh, almost sure that I would be number two. <laughs> uh, congratulations for the Vaxers, <laughs> because we were together in the uh, uphill. And then it was uh, really, really down, uh, long downhills, and uh, after this I, I was uh, 16, maybe 17 seconds after. And uh, yeah, this was so big up, and uh, <sighs> okay, it was, it was not so perfect, but uh, I was start to uh, thinking about uh, number two and nothing more. <laughs> now it's uh, three races to go, uh, 350 points, uh, World Cup points to fight. Uh, uh, to get. Uh, is it too late now, or uh, do you still think, think you have a chance to get the World Cup trophy? I think that, that I don't have big chance for this. Uh, I think that, that I, don't, I don't have chance, but uh, uh, before the season I was told that I, I have four big goals. And the first was in Poland, World Cup in Poland, second to the ski. Number three was here in Holmenkoll, and number four was uh, uh, Otepa, and I was uh, one of almost everything. Uh, he was number two. And, uh, I think that is special season for me, really good season. And uh, yeah, this was nice. Uh, it was a really tough race today. Uh, in the beginning, uh, I'm not so really good skis, and um, I think I I push uh, very much uh, in uh, in uphill and also downhill. So. Uh, but uh, after we uh, changed the skis, uh, I think I feel the shape was uh, much better. And after I feel that it was better and better. And then I was I heard that I was 25 seconds behind Kowalczyk, but I heard also that she was a little bit tired. And uh, I think that oh you you have to push all the way. And uh, then I heard that I took uh, some seconds all over the track. So. Uh, I'm really satisfied with the race today and I know that the quality is really strong in the end but I, I pushed all the way and do the best I could and yeah, she was strong and really excellent. Congratulations with, uh, with another victory in, uh, in uh, Holman Colden. Uh, you. You're winning and winning and winning and winning. Uh, <laughs> how was it? Uh, today it was amazing. Uh, I had a very good uh, day. Uh, my body was feeling very good and I knew it from the beginning and uh, yeah and I had very good skis I'm very thankful for my boxing team they had three very good pairs and uh, yeah and from the beginning I knew that uh, yeah, my body was good and skis was good and I wanted to uh, high up the speed from the beginning and uh, I knew also Justina wanted to take some points so uh, she pushed it in the two first, and uh, and I tried to push every time, uh, go very hard, and uh, in uh, the last lap in the one from Saturn I did give take our get from uh, Justina, and uh, then I was ten seconds, and then twenty, and then thirty, and then I know it was really my day and it's possible. So I'm very happy and satisfied. It was was amazing to go the last. Uh, Lap around from the set and I was just smiling and enjoy it, it was amazing.